In this video, we are continuing with the series of aromatic halogenation. In, in one video, we talked about using ion trichloride and chlorine to add a chlorine to a ring and ion tribromide and bromine to add a bromide, bromide into a ring. And third one is using Lewis acid aluminium trichloride and chlorine to add a chlorine onto a ring. So we're going to do bromination or chlorination using a different set of reaction conditions here we are not using a lewis acid instead we are using acetic acid and your halogen of choice usually be r2 the electrophile will be x plus that's the electrophile so the the acetic acid here is just used to Keep the reaction going kind of activates the reaction somehow but it's not typically directly used in the mechanism so the first step the ring use a pi bond to attack one of the halogens on the diatomic molecule like beer the other halogen leaves then this carbon here will have to have a plus side because the pi bond has been used by this carbon to bond to a halogen so you get this intermediate and that intermediate can do resonances so we are showing down here the resonances okay so if you draw the molecule here if you move the bond right there you're going to get a plus right behind because you stole a bond from this carbon and you're killing this plus charge because a bond is two electrons neutralizing that plus charge you get a bond there push again this bond to your left to make a double bond here you're going to be left with the plus charge on that carbon you get this product now the hybrid of the resonance contributing structure again you still have an x there you have a you you still have your x there and halogen there and you're just simply showing where the plus charge started and where it ended so the plus charge started on this carbon and ended on that carbon that's the resonance hybrid structure for these three guys let's move on with the mechanism now like in other videos the last step is going to be re-aromatization because here the ring is not aromatic but it wants to be arom aromatic again so we do re-aromatization where the X minus the halogen that fell off will act as a base to obstruct that hydrogen and use the ring will use this bond to make its double bond that it used in the first step. So that's the slow step. That's the first step. And now it's aromatic. And you can see you can see the H has now been replaced by the X. So this is also another example of electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Electrophilic aromatic substitution reaction. Okay. So let's look at examples. All right. Again, just assume you have acetic acid on there the electrophile is br plus the electrophile is br plus so that's what's going to substitute that hydrogen on here in this case the electrophile the electrophile is cl plus so we put our cl there to substitute the hydrogen Next next question on here you already have a substrate on the ring it does as lone pairs sitting on the oxygen bonded directly to the ring so th this can resonate inside so that makes this oh electron donating group it's gonna direct the incoming electrophile auto pair position so the electrophile here is br plus so it should end up ortho here ortho there or para there these two authors are the same, the molecule is symmetrical, so we either substitute there 
which is also the electro file will end up there or here which is para position it's hard to tell which is the major we'll let, let the experiment decide because OH is a small group can't really tell if it causes much sterics with bromine now in the next example again you have a, an atom having a lone pair which can be donated towards the ring by resonance so this is a strong electron donating group and it should also direct ortho para this time the group is bulky so the major should be para position with minor ortho again the electrophile is br plus and because of sterics we want to replace this hydrogen the para position the opposite position to the substrate is a para position next door is ortho as i said ortho hysterically hindered is very close to the big group the beer itself is big so it will want to go para which is further away because there's more space there so the br ends up para all right next question here you have dipole dipole moments electron drawing between carbon and oxygen here you have carbonyl bonded directly to the ring you have an it's the carbonyl is electron drawing group because of dipole moments pointing towards the oxygen oxygen is more electron negative oxygen is more electron negative than the carbon so making this whole group an electron drawing group so it's deactivating deactivating groups direct the incoming electrophile mera again from this cocktail the electrophile is pr plus in the mera position is either that carbon or that carbon we are not told its excess so we only substitute once so the bromide ends up there mera position so this is mera electrophilic aromatic substitution next question so again you have a carbonyl directly bonded to the ring it's deactivating because it's withdrawing by inductive effect so it's electron drawing group it's gonna direct the incoming electrophile to mera position the electrophile again is br plus and the mera position is either this position or the other one because that's a mera that's a mera the molecule symmetrical so putting the bromine the other side is get the same product okay so in this video we've talked about electrophilic aromatic substitution another way of doing halogenation on the ring and so keep practicing so you get better in it see you soon bye